Microsoft officially unveiled the Surface Duo yesterday, and it looks intriguing as hell. Unlike the Galaxy Z Fold 2, the Duo has two separate screens with a gap in between where the hinge sits. Devices like this aren't new. Remember the Samsung Hennessy, and more recently, the ZTE Axon M and the Lenovo Yoga Book? Companies have come close to delivering hardware that might work. But dual screen devices have always been held back by their software. In the real world, these multi-screen products have failed to deliver. They've basically run a tweaked version of Android that has been woefully inadequate at making use of bigger screens, not to mention extra panels. Yet, Microsoft chose Android 10 to power its dual screen debut. On paper, this is an intriguing union. Microsoft is known for its powerful apps like Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. More than half of businesses in the world use Office software. But Windows hasn't found a footing in the smartphone world, with failures like Windows Phone and Windows Mobile haunting Microsoft. Meanwhile, Android is used on more than 2.5 billion devices worldwide. But Google has struggled with making the system work for tablets and two-in-ones. The Surface Duo is our first look at the result of these two companies collaborating, and it gives me hope for future dual-screen phones. According to Microsoft's Chief Product Officer Panos Pane, the software here is the Microsoft you love and the Android you know. He said it was built for people who love Microsoft Office, Teams, Outlook, but it's also for those who use Android apps or mobile apps in general. The first thing you'll see when using the Surface Duo is its homepage, which looks almost exactly like any other Android home screen, except for a Windows-style taskbar at the bottom. You can pin your favorite apps here, similar to Android's bottom row of apps. Microsoft's skin here also features square icons and lots of straight lines that are more reminiscent of Windows Mobile than Google's Material UI. This is all familiar. The Surface Duo is an Android phone at heart that's wearing Microsoft clothes. But dual screens are still uncommon, and Google and its partners have struggled to make Android work well on these types of phones in the past. With Microsoft's help, the Duo offers a refined take on familiar features like book mode for reading and tent for presentations. You can also make an app stretch across two screens in a mode that Microsoft is calling Span, or have a link that you tap in one window open in the other screen. These features aren't new, but Microsoft offers some fresh tweaks. For example, there's a keyboard that appears only on the screen where you tap the input field, and it sits slightly off-center, closer to the edge, so the letters are within reach. Another addition is something Microsoft calls App Groups that lets you pair apps to launch in each screen at the same time. And of course, its own Office apps take advantage of the various modes as well. When you have the company's to-do app and Edge browser open side by side, for example, you can drag and drop text between the windows. These are ideas we've seen or heard about on dual screen devices for years, but it seems like with the Duo, they might finally be coming to a phone that people actually want to use. This software won't be exclusive to the Surface device either. Panay said, we didn't create them just for Duo, we created them in the Android code base. This means that the features Microsoft and Google work to build could also roll out to any other company's dual screen phone that uses Android in the future. It's still unclear which pieces of what Microsoft calls the Duo UI are built into the Android code base and which will remain specifically for Microsoft. But Pani did say that the collaboration with Android chief Hiroshi Lockheimer was very deep. He said, we really do want Android to continue to adopt these pieces and kind of light up the best Microsoft experiences. It won't just be Microsoft that benefits from the collaboration either. Google and its partners with dual screen ambitions stand to gain too. But Android offers a compelling advantage to Microsoft. When asked why the company chose to go with Android as the Duo's operating system, Panos simply replied, apps. He added, mobile apps. Having access to the Play Store is critical. The multitude of apps available via Google Store will all work on both of the Duo screen, Panay said, and developers won't have to do extra work to take advantage of some of the basic new interface features. 
That's good news, since not all developers want or can afford to do extra work for an unproven platform. Apps are perhaps the deciding factor on the success of an OS, and the lack of apps that make use of dual screens has been a major obstacle in these taking off. Microsoft needs to reach a wide audience for the Duo to succeed, and if it relies only on its own apps, it risks sending the message that this is a business-first product. With Android and the vast number of apps that will come into the fold, Microsoft is astutely positioning the Duo as a lifestyle gadget that has the productivity chops to do work when you need it to. As foldable phones start to gain traction, dual screen devices like the Duo could ride those tailwinds to find mainstream success at last, this time backed by software that finally looks ready to roll. For more coverage on foldable phones, dual screen devices, and all of the weird and wacky stuff in consumer technology, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.